Hey guys, it's Callum here from Forest Run JR and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Now, this one is a vlog I've been meaning to make for about a year where I'm going to be doing a rant about school. Now, don't get me wrong, school is important, but there's plenty of things that need changing so it, you know, it can be improved for future generations. I finished at school back in last summer after doing my GCSEs and um, you know I'm going to be talking about a few dumb things that I can remember from my time at school from about 2003 or 4 up to summer 2016. Before I start, before I start doing that I need to give a quick thanks to Gummy Bear Games. Now if you don't know who he is he does Minecraft uh, tutorials but uh, he did a New Year's giveaway for some Fight Nights at Freddy's Pop Vinyls and I actually won. I was actually one of the lucky winners. So, yeah, uh, I did end up, as you can tell by the thing in the background, I did end up going with the normal Freddy. There were, there were five others, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Springtrap and Nightmare Freddy. But I ended up going with the normal Freddy just because I could, really. <laughs> But yeah, it's really awesome to actually get one of these because I've I've never been able to get one of these one of these pop vinyls because I've never had the money. But yeah, it's cool to have that. He even he even sent me a, a short note as well. Uh, hey Callum, congrats on winning my New Year's giveaway. Enclosed will be your Freddy Fazbear pop vinyl as requested. Thank you for all the support towards my channel. It's greatly appreciated, and I hope that this prize reflects on that. Best wishes from Tom, aka Gummy. And it's his signature and picture of him and his Twitter and YouTube as well. By the time this vlog goes up, it'll have actually been about two or three weeks since I won this, but still, uh, still a huge thanks goes to Gummy for putting the whole New Year's giveaway together in the first place and for, you know, me being one of the winners. Uh, I'll, get, I'll leave a link to his YouTube and his Twitter down in, this, in the description. So if you like Minecraft tutorials, then go subscribe to him and go follow him on Twitter. So yeah, that's, that's that. Now let's actually get to ranting about school. The first point is stress. Now, stress is just something that school puts loads of kids under. I mean, we've got loads of things to worry about. We've got growing up, we've got family, friends, relationships, and then we've got, we've got the heavy workload that school put upon us that we've got to focus on as well. To mention all these other things that we want to get done, like, like m making videos or playing games or building Lego or something like that, I don't know. But, you know, loads of things that we want to do when adding this huge workload doesn't exactly help. It's not just that, it's not just the kids who get under the heavy stress, but it's also the parents of the kids and even the teachers. Because don't forget, they're trying to support us, you know, they're trying to help us get homework done or something like that, or classwork, whatever it may be. But they've also got their own lives that they want to, you know, put some attention towards. Like parents have jobs that they're trying to do, they've got the rest of the family that they're trying to uh, you know, keep an eye on or whatever. Teachers have their own families to work, to, you know, work with. They've got other kids that they need to help. They've got, you know, there's loads of things that we're trying to focus on and a heavy amount of schoolwork just adds to the levels of stress. Especially when it's incredibly difficult work as well. That doesn't help either. Right, this next point. It's something I've never heard anyone else bring up before in these sorts of videos. Uh, it's a thing called a pen license, which is just one of the stupidest things I've ever heard of. Basically, some UK kids, at least, like my, my primary school at least, did this. I don't know if they still do, but you needed to get a license to write with a pen instead of a pencil. And what did you have to do to get that pen license? Just practice writing with a pen instead of with a pencil and not mess up while doing so. That's, that's it. That's all you had to do to get this pen license thing. Write with a pen instead of a pencil and not mess up and actually make it look neat. 
why did you why why do you need a license? Why do you need permission to use a pen? Um, I don't know. The whole the whole pen license thing in primary school was worthless anyway. Because when you, when I got to secondary school, it turns out that a lot of other kids didn't do a pen license thing, and you, you just didn't even need one. It doesn't matter if you got a pen license or not in primary school because in secondary school it doesn't matter. You're made to use one anyway. So what's the point in pen licences? Whoever came up with that idea, abandon it, please. Just say in primary school, if you want to use a pen to write, you go ahead and use it. If you want to use a pencil to write, go ahead and use it. But when you get to secondary school, start using pen or something like that. I don't know, but don't make it so we need to get permission and get this fake licence in primary school to use it. And then we have things like what considered damaging to a kid's education. Now it gets considered damaging to a kid's education when parents take their kids on holiday during school term time and parents mostly do that because holidays are cheaper during that time. Yeah it's considered damaging if we go on holiday in term time but it's not considered damaging when teachers decide to go on strike and we get supply teachers who hardly know anything about the subject which means when it's something that the kids don't know how to do and the teacher, the supply teacher doesn't know what to do, we're both completely stuck. We're just sat there, just confused. A side note, by the way, if teachers can go on strike, why can't students? Uh, from what I can gather, um, teachers, they tend to go on strike mostly because of a low pay, pensions, or a heavy workload. Well, kids, we don't get paid at all to do school work. You know, we don't get paid to do work. And we get a huge amount of work to do. We can't go on strike? No, no, apparently not. Let's actually talk about the workload itself. So, not only do we actually get huge amounts of it to do, but most of it ends up being completely pointless, you know, when it comes to leaving school. Or it's just incorrect, to put, it, to put it simply. So some example of, of pointless things that we learn are uh, Pythagoras' theorem, Sokotoa, the quadratic formula, colouring in neatly, types of clouds, and mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. M most kids in this day and age, they're not going to require any of that knowledge when they leave school. Like Pythagoras theorem, Sokotoa quadratic formula, they're not going to need that unless they're going to become a mathematician, which a lot of kids these days just aren't going to, because most kids at our age aren't bothered by maths whatsoever. As long as they can do basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, that's fine. That's pretty much all we need now. Colouring in neatly, you know, it'll make your picture look nice, sure, but it's not required. Again, unless we're going to become an artist, it's not particularly required, is it? It'll just make it'll just make a picture look a bit nicer. You know, you go so much with one nanometer over a line, you, you get you get in a load of trouble. Okay, okay, not really, but you know what I mean. Then types of clouds. Who looks at clouds and goes, "Is that a cirrus cloud?" Nobody looks at clouds and wonders what type of clouds they are. And then mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It's just, it's the one statement from science that we all learn, we just never need when we leave school. Some examples of some, you know, incorrect things that we learn. Learn that we have five senses, touch, taste, hearing, sight and smell. That's not correct, there's, there's at least 21 if I remember correctly, like hunger and thirst, they technically count, balance, proprioception, you know, there's several others out there, but those are some of those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. But there's three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Well, there's also plasma, liquid crystals, Bose-Einstein condensate, and several others out there. And then bats using echolocation to see. A lot of bats can't echolocate at all, and a lot of bats actually have better eyesight than humans. So, yeah, in incorrect facts there. We learn all these 
pointless things, we learn all these incorrect things. We, what we should be learning is things like basic first aid, at least basic level first aid. So I'm pretty sure uh, my, the bulk of my first aid knowledge comes to putting plasters and bandages over things. That's not exactly going to help if you're in like a car crash or something like that. Putting a plaster over cuts and bruises all over your body isn't exactly going to help if you're in a car crash, is it? And I, I don't know how to perform CPR either, if needed. You know, that would be kind of helpful. M maybe, you never know. But I, I don't even know how to do that. Time management and stress management. You know, with the amount of stress that we get put under from heavy workloads and all that. It would be good to know how to be able to manage that stress and for managing time. You know, simply telling us to prioritise homework and revision over gaming and YouTube, that's just telling us to do that isn't exactly going to help, is it? I can tell, I'll, I'll tell you from personal experience, that didn't exactly help. Just telling us to prioritise revision over gaming doesn't work. Basic car and home maintenance. I know that they have, you know, extracurricular activity or extracurricular, I don't know if that's the right phrase, like post-16 stuff that you can do, you know, college or uni or whatever, where you can learn this stuff, but I didn't take, I've not taken anything like that, so I don't know how to maintain a home if I was to, you know, move out one day, don't know how to maintain a car either, so if I get my own car one day, I don't, I won't know how to properly maintain it and, you know, make sure it's all in working order. Then actually managing money as well. Come on, most kids our age, what do they spend it on? Games, sweets, chocolate, uh, what else, makeup, you know, we're spending it on all, the, on all these stuff. You know, we don't really know what we should be spending it on. F food's definitely something we should spend it on, but we spend more of it on sweets and chocolate and uh, fizzy drinks than, than anything else. Yeah, teaching some basic things, basic facts that are actually correct and might actually come into play one day instead of the complicated and useless stuff like Pat Pythagoras' theorem and quadratic formula. You know, that's going to help in preventing dumb things coming out on the internet, isn't it? It's going to help in preventing things like people asking where in Africa the country of Jamaica is People born in 2005 are now 20 years old in the year 2017, which again is just not correct. People thinking that Adolf Hitler assassinated Abraham Lincoln, even though Hitler was born years after Lincoln died. You know, basic geography and basic history facts. It, it will prevent these kind of dumb, dumb things coming out on the internet at least. You know, it's going to prevent people from looking like Muppets, isn't it? You know, learning how to spell things as well. In one where people, where someone's put porch of geese instead of Portuguese for the language Brazilians speak, as well as putting quack quack when geese go honk and it's ducks that quack. Who knows? Maybe, maybe one day I might make a video responding to some dumb internet post or something. You know, explaining how they're just stupid. You never know. I might do that one day. But yeah, that's going to do it for this uh, part. There are two more huge points that I want to talk about, but I'm going to do those in a future part because this video is long enough as it is. Um, yeah, uh, I do hope that the new camera angle that I've tried this video is okay. I decided I'll try wrapping my gorilla pod around my TV and try that as a camera angle and see how that works. And from what I've, from what I've uh, See, it looks okay, so I might start using that as a new camera angle for vlog style videos. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and you like the content that you see. Uh, check out previous videos. Uh, make sure you subscribe again so you can uh, keep an eye out for when part two of this drops. Uh, again. Huge thanks to Gummy for for this, you know, awesome. Yeah, huge thanks to Gummy for that. It, like I said at the start, links to his Twitter and YouTube are going to be in the description. Uh, my Twitter will be down there as well as second channel Jack's Twitter and a couple of other things. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching 
and goodbye. Why am I still spinning? Right, okay, I'm starting to get a bit dizzy now, so I probably should stop.